Welcome to the Project Finance Modeling Course. In this tutorial, we will be looking at loan life and project life coverage ratios that are typical in project finance transactions. We have seen the definition of debt service cover ratio. It is our CFADS over the debt service. The one drawback that DSCR suffers from is that it does not take into account the time value of money. Loan life coverage ratio, or LLCR, resolves this issue with DSCR. Let's take a look at LLCR definition. LLCR is a ratio of the present value of CFADS over the term of the loan to present value of debt service. The discount rate used in calculating the present value of CFADS and debt service is the cost of the debt. Please note that the present value of the debt service discounted at the cost of the debt is equal to the initial debt balance. Therefore, in calculations, we do not have to discount the debt service. Let's review how LLCR is calculated. Our timeline is a six months periods timeline, which is typical timeline for project finance models at operations stage. So first ingredient in the LLCR calculation is CFADS over debt repayment term. Then we have to come up with a discount factor based on the debt's interest rate per period. In this simple example, we used 3% periodic interest rate to calculate these discount factors. Next step is to discount our CFADS over debt repayment term by multiplying CFADS by the discount factor. We repeat the calculations of discounted CFADS for all our periods. Then we have to sum up all our discounted CFADS to come up with a net present value of CFADS. Next is the present value of the debt service, which is the same as initial loan balance at 3% discount rate. And Project's LLCR is net present value of CFADS divided by the initial loan balance, which is 1.67. Then, we have to compare the project's LLCR to the lender's required LLCR. If the project's LLCR is greater than lender's required LLCR, then the project meets the lender's requirement. Sometimes, lenders may also require that the project meets a minimum rolling LLCR. Let's quickly work through the rolling LLCR so we understand how it is calculated. Our timeline is a six months periods timeline. And the first thing in the rolling LLCR calculation is debt interest rate, which is 3% per period in this case. Then we need our CFADS over debt's term. Note, however, that now we will start from right to left or from period six, so we are clear how rolling LLCR is calculated. So. We have our CFADS in period 6. Next, in period 5, we have calculate the present value of this CFADS in period 6 at 3% discount rate. We call it present value of remaining CFADS. In period 4, we calculate the present value of CFADS in period 5 plus the present value of remaining CFADS at 3% discount rate. In period 3, we calculate the present value of CFADS in period 4 plus the present value of remaining CFADS at 3% discount rate. And we repeat these calculations until we reach period one. Now, we have to bring our closing loan balances in each period. Rolling LLCR is a ratio of the present value of remaining CFADS to close loan balance. We have to select the lowest rolling LLCR that our project produces during the debt repayment term. Then, we have to compare the lowest project's LLCR to the lender's required LLCR. If the lowest project's LLCR is above the required LLCR, then the project meets the lender's requirement. Remember, it is up to lenders to decide how these project cover ratios, such as DSCR, LLCR, and PLCR are calculated. So, the loan term sheet will include exact project cover ratio formulas that you as a modeler should use. There is another ratio that we usually encounter in the project finance term sheets and agreements. It is project life coverage ratio, or PLCR. PLCR, like LLCR, takes the time value of the money into account. PLCR is a ratio of the present value of CFADS over life of the project to present value of debt service. Because PLCR takes the present value of CFADS over the project's life, as opposed to the CFADS over debt's term in LLCR, the PLCR ratio is generally higher than LLCR. There are different types of LLCR and PLCR. 
the most widely used LLCR and PLCR ratios are initial and rolling ratios. What these DSCR, LLCR, and PLCR show is how risky the project is at particular periods, over debt's life, and over project's life. Lenders use these project finance ratios to assess the riskiness of the project, which eventually translates into the cost of project finance. In the next lesson, we will be modeling loan life and project life coverage ratios in our project finance model.